Pascal, are you sure you want to be dropped off here? Heck yeah! I want some time to take a look around the city. You're going to investigate and see how the new Valkanist system is working, is that correct? Uh-huh, you got it. It would be totally irresponsible not to follow up. I know we take it for granted, but Pascal is really amazing. Mm-hmm. That's right, and don't you forget it. Keep those compliments coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, little sister? Huh? Maria, you came to see me! See you? Yeah, right. I can smell you from a mile away. How many days has it been since your last bath? <laughs> I kind of forgot. No, I give up. <laughs> I refuse to look after you anymore. <laughs> Anyone want to take a stray cat off my hands? <gasps> hey, let me go! Sorry, but I am more of a dog person, actually. Meow. <laughs> Better scrub her down, just like you would a stray cat. Uh. Meow! Go easy on me, okay? Meow! <laughs> <laughs> you don't need my help to take a bath. The blushing is real. Jeez, little bro, you're scarier than Fourier. Stop calling me that. My name is Hubert. Can't you remember that? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, I know. I'll call you Hugh. Hugh? Uh... Okay, guys. I gotta run. See you later, Hugh. I ship it. <laughs> Ultimate Tales of OTP right there. This is goodbye for me, too. Thank you for everything, Captain Malik. You too, Pascal. Goodbye, everyone. Until then. Takes a lot of energy to tame a stray cat. So hang in there. <laughs> See you around. Sort of Legendia looks so awesome. <laughs> it just stands out in this cutscene. I love it. I love Hubert and Pascal. Great pairing. I really adore it. Don't forget to swing by Lont. Mom would love to see you. Don't worry. Besides, I'm sure I'll be back for your wedding. What? What? Don't tell me that. You still haven't talked to the poor girl. Like you're one to talk. At least I tried to talk to her. She just didn't really get what I said. Then it's no different. Those two are so much alike, in the strangest of ways. How are they alike? Don't worry, you'll understand someday. Sharia. Uh, yes? Your relief work has been invaluable to us. However, 
I wouldn't want you to lose sight of your own happiness. It would be most tragic if an angel of joy, such as yourself, decided to abandon her own contentment. And besides, your happiness is Sophie and Asbel's happiness as well. Thank you, Richard. I just wouldn't feel right if I moved on and left you behind. I don't know. You kind of sound like a sore loser. Tell her how you feel. If you don't want to end up being a total loser. Well, all right then. I think that's my cue to leave. Bye-bye, Hubert. Thank goodness you're safe, my lord. I apologize for making you worry. This latest excursion reminded me all the more of how precious peace is. I want to build a future for Windor, for Athenia, and for Fodra. There is more than enough prosperity to go around now. But I still have much to learn before I make that dream a reality. When peace is restored, I'd like to see more of the world. Asbel, Sophie, when that time comes, will you accompany me on that journey? Of course. Sure. You know it. Whenever you're ready, we can all meet once again at Lawn Hill. Okay. Mm. All right, I must be off. Thank you for everything. Well, I suppose I should get back to my relief work. Oh, yeah, right. Good luck out there. Well, bye. Asbel, what about your promise? Sharia. I know I'm always really bad with words, but please, if it's okay with you, I want you to come live with me. Finally, oh my word. We've all been dying. <laughs> I'm sorry if I broke anyone's ears with that scream. <laughs> I know you have a lot of things to do, so I won't ask you to come back immediately. I'll be the one waiting for you to come back home this time. Sophie and I will wait for as long as it takes, all right? Asbel. I like Glowandi in the background during all of this. Sharia, last night, I had the strangest dream. I was playing with a child that looked a lot like both of you. And after a while, 
I finally figured out who he was. He was you and Asbel's great great grandson. Tell me, Sophie, would you be happy if that dream came true? Will it come true? <laughs> well, it just might. I would be so happy if that really came true. That's good. home I'm gonna make you all of your favorite foods but only if you promise to eat everything up deal mm -hmm. Sophie finally playing matchmaker. There was no better way to end your game. There was just no better way that could have ended. Also, seeing Glowandi in the background is really neat. Oh, credits. It's that bittersweet feeling. I mean, this is the second time we have credits, but like, this is the actual end. Oh, there you go. Oh, these pictures are really neat. I like when games do this. Show, like, pictures. Very Tales of Arise of them. Anyway, yeah, Tales of Graces. We, we are, we're officially done. I think this actually, this is, like, part 220-something. I don't exactly remember how much, uh, how many videos my Berseria playthrough have. I should probably go look at that. This is give or take around the length of my Berseria playthrough, I think. I know Arise got above 230. I don't think this quite got above 230, but it was pretty close. Oh, there's Sharia. I guess that's the implication that she came home. That she went to live with Asbel. Classic Richard. I love his new outfit. Hills of Graces is a phenomenal game. Definitely standing at my number two game of all time. For sure. I still really love Grandia. It's it's really close. Grandia and Graces are like super close. I still really love Grandia. There's there's Hubert, the communicator. I still really love Grandia. It's like honestly a toss up. They're so different, so like it's hard to compare. But like also, Grandia is still my favorite game of all time. This is my second favorite game. Um, followed by FF7 remake in third. Oh why, why, why Bandai? Don't show me this Victoria image. Um. Graces is followed by FF7 Remake, which is third place, then Tales of Berseria, and then uh, Final Fantasy X and X2. So yeah, Graces is still my second favorite game of all time, and my favorite Tales game. It's a great game. I talked about the main game, so I'm not going to go too much into that. I want to talk about the F arc a little bit. I really love the F arc. They didn't need to add the F arc. Honestly, I don't know if the game would be like as great as it is without the F arc. I was thinking about it. I think, like, honestly, I don't think Graces would be my... They, it might still be my second favorite Tales game, but I feel like the F arc does a lot to boost my opinion of the game. Because some of my favorite moments, whether it's the skits or the ending or the, the closure for Sto Sophie's story arc, or just the added time for the characters and everything, and the overall, like, premise is pretty interesting. I feel like all of that does a good bit to boost graces as a game. Now, without the F arc, I feel like the game would still be a top three Tales game for me. It'd probably be like my second or third favorite Tales game, but the F arc alone, I feel like, boosts my opinion of the game. Because all oh, the story is just so good. Um, I really, I actually kind of like the stuff with the little queen and like, uh, Lambda. It, it kind of sucks. I kind of wish Lambda stayed with Asbel, but I understand why they did it. Lambda, I guess, is finally ready to take that risk and be alone. It sucks, though, but, like, at the same time, the whole thing with Fodra's core was pretty interesting. The little queens and everything, and Sophie 
Sophie crying for the very first time at the end of the game was so good. I love that. And just added screen time for characters and skits. Like, the F arc is probably what makes this my favorite Tales game. Without the F arc, it'd probably be a solid number two. But, it is my favorite Tales game. Also, this is a really nice little scene we have here because they promised to meet at Launt Hill to, like, renew their pact. So getting to see that was really cool. Yeah, that was cute. This is a cute scene. Tales of Graces is a great game. It gets too much flack. The story isn't like the best out there, but the characters are some of the best in gaming. I promise. Oh, there are words. I didn't think I they talked. Watch over this world forever. Also, that's another thing. Sophie's legitimate worries, like seeing her like come to terms with it, like, oh, I'm not gonna die like the others. This is also the same exact scene, so I'm gonna kind of talk over it. This is literally the exact same. And there are also subtitles. There was a young boy who discovered a lost but, um, Sophie, like, coming to terms with, like, oh, I'm not gonna die. Like, I'm not gonna die, and I'm gonna have to watch over this world and fulfill. Especially that scene with Asbel and Telus Astia, where, like, I'll fulfill your dream, Asbel, because I'm not gonna go anywhere. Was really good. It was really sad to feel for Sophie, but then, like, her coming to terms with it, like, eventually she won't die, is really good. That watched over everyone. This was its way of thanking the boy who had been so very kind to it. Which star was it? It's the exact same scene. But, um, well, I love it. It's the one we all know. The F arc wasn't necessary, but I'm glad they did it. It was a good little, like, quote unquote, sequel epilogue to Grace's. It was a really nice way to continue the story and just give us a nice conclusion because. If you were to ask me, I love this ending a lot more than the main arc one. Not to say the main arc one is bad. The main arc one's like fine. But I love this ending a lot more than the uh, main arc. I'm going to slap this right here. I'm actually really curious um, what level. We got a lot of XP from the Foja Queen. I'm really curious what level we got. I'm going to load really quick, but then I'm going to go back to the title screen. I just want to see what level, because we got a lot of XP from the Foja Queen. I want to see how much we got from her. I, w I just want to see what level we ended at. Alright, 160. That's good. But yeah, Tales of Graces is great. It's a great game. Um, Anything else I want to say? I don't really have much to say because I talked about the main arc already. I feel like the gameplay, I did Lineage and Legacies pretty late in my playthrough, so it wasn't as much of a problem. The The status ailments are annoying. They do kind of go overboard with the status ailment a little bit, and the Foja Queen fight is like kind of annoying. Because it also has status ailments and like some of your hitboxes are annoying, but like, like I said, I did Zone Cage first, so it wasn't as much of a problem, but I can imagine going straight from the main arc, it might be more of an issue. But the story... And the character, the added character moments, the skits, and the story is, like, pretty good. It's all worth it, I think. It's it's amazing. You can just, like, turn the difficulty down if you don't want to deal with gameplay stuff. The story part of Lineage and Legacies is absolutely worth it. I would, I would recommend it for anyone who likes Graces. Like, you should play Lineage. It's canon to me. Like, I really like the added stuff they do. Yeah, like, I don't really have much to say about Graces that wouldn't be, like, a retread me gushing with the game. Again, it's not perfect, but it's still my favorite Tales game, no matter what. And it's got, um, it's fun. It's just a ton of fun. Um, now, to close out the playthrough, I'm really glad we did every single side quest, every single in request. I even got, like, all the cameo weapons, basically all the cardas, and I even showed off Blue Earth. Like, this playthrough could not have ended off better. I showed off Blue Earth, which I'm glad I did. That was a good finisher. Um, yeah, Tales of Graces, we are done. I'm also really glad I ended the playthrough with the F arc. That was a good call by me. Again, Zone Cage, 
it made annoying, but I mean, Zone Cage was still doable. I just turned on the difficulty, but Zone Cage is like the worst part of the game anyway. It just like, it, it's it's so satisfying to end on this note. This is a really good note to end on rather than be like, hey, finish the F arc, then go back to the main arc for a little bit and like get Zone Cage done. So it, it's much better to end it here. It feels more deserved that we're just done with the game. Yeah, but yeah, Tales of Graces is complete. I'm really, really glad I did this playthrough. I love this game, and I will continue to love it until the day I die. If they ever port Tales of Graces, I can't promise. It depends how late they port the game. Like, I don't know. If they port the game, like, if they say, like, oh, we're making a Graces port, like, if they announce it this year, I might not do another playthrough, like, anytime soon. Because I put so much time into this playthrough and there are other Tales games that need my attention. I will definitely buy a Tales of Graces port, guaranteed. And maybe one day there will be an update playthrough. Like, if they ever port the game and it's been, like, considerable amount of- I'm doing this so the opening doesn't play, by the way. Maybe, like, if they port the game, I'll do a playthrough eventually of, like, on the PS5 or whatever. But it wouldn't be anytime soon because I put so much time into this playthrough. But, you know... It's been fun. I'm just really glad that I have a good high tier Graces playthrough. It went on for like almost 80 hours, I think. Again, I don't know how long Berseria was, but it's around the, my my Berseria playthrough's length, which is amazing. Really top tier. Glad I did it. Glad I did everything. And look forward to Symphonia will be going live. But then after Symphonia, there will be a break of Tales of um, because I have to play some other stuff. But you'll be getting Symphonia as this goes live. So that'll be fun. And then... Tales of is, like, gonna come back. It's just gonna be a little bit of a break after Symphonia. But yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching this playthrough. I greatly, greatly enjoyed it. And I hope you stick around for other Tales of playthroughs or other franchises like Final Fantasy, Star Ocean, Grandia, etc. Uh, but yeah, I greatly appreciate the support that this series has gotten. I enjoyed replaying Graces, as always. And yeah, hope to catch you all in other stuff, um, Tales of or otherwise. But yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.